All right, you guys, we are just getting two steps saddled. My phone has been going off this entire time, so I lagged um, on getting his video posted. Sorry, but we got him groomed. So this is two-step and he stands tied up fantastic. You can pick up all four of his feet. He's easy to saddle. Tylen, Tylen, will you pick his back feet up while we're standing here real quick? Thank you, sorry. We're slow moving this morning, all of us. Well, not me, I'm in a fantastic mood, but, um, but you guys, just so y'all see, he is youth suitable. Um, he does know the play day events, so he does know the barrels. He knows the poles. He has been roped off of. He is a bomb-proof trail horse. But he's youth suitable, so if you guys are looking for a fantastic kid's horse, something that your kids can take English and Western lessons on, this horse is a really good candidate for that. Not only can he be ridden English and Western, he also knows the barrels, the poles, he's been roped on. So he is a fantastic horse. Fantastic. He's just such a good boy. He is dark brown, almost black. I think if you kept him in the barn, he would be black. And the reason I say that is because he doesn't have brown points on his face. So I do think he's actually a black horse. I do think he's black. So, hey Robert, how are you, Susan? He's got really good feet and legs. He just needs a little trim, but not too bad. But he's got good clean legs. Good, good clean legs and feet. As you can see, he's easy to bridle. So you guys make sure that you like, comment, and share. We're really trying to boost our algorithm, so please make sure that you like this video. Please leave a comment, even if you just leave um, an emoji. Uh, I think when the horses get a little bit, um, you know, this horse is 11 to 12 years old, and he's definitely been around the block. He's raised some kids. You can do anything with him, be behind him, be behind his legs. He's not one, you know, to spook. You can do whatever. He does have a super laid back attitude. I love that about him. But when he gets on him and rides off, you'll see that his head does perk up and he has a really nice forward way of going. He's not a lazy horse. So it's really good for one to have this amazing laid back demeanor, but not to be lazy. I like that. I love a laid back demeanor, easy to groom. He, you know, isn't bad about his ears or feet shy. He's a fantastic horse. He's one of those horses that everybody's looking for um, a bomb proof kid horse that their kids can play day or trail ride. You know, they want it to be, you know, 10, 11 years old. This horse is 11 to 12. He's the perfect age, he's sound. I don't know, I just can't imagine. I don't, I can't imagine that horses like this are on every corner because what does everybody say? This is a unicorn. He is right, He, I believe he's 14, three, almost 15 hands. The stick is in here somewhere. Tylen, will you get the stick real quick? I'll lead him up here. Come on, buddy. We'll stick him right here in front of the saddle pad, so. He is such a calm horse and he's got, re he's got really beautiful light brown eyes, which I love. And again, good, clean, solid legs and feet. Look, he's really sweet. He's like, hi, friend. Hi, friend. Well, we have two or three of those. No, sir.
You don't know where it's at? All right, well, you grab him. Probably don't know. Okay. Well, I'll look. We'll just leave him there for a second. We'll see if it's really not here or if Tylen just has manitis. Manitis is where if it was a snake, it would have bit you. But because you're a man, you just didn't see it. Nope, it's really not here. Yes, it is. It's right here. <laughs> Hold on. In the back room. It's fine. You're a man. It's a. It's just bred into you. You can't help it. I'm thoroughly convinced that. Okay. Well, he's clearly not 18 hands tall. We'll just go right in front of the saddle pad all the way down. Yeah, right there. He is. He is 14 and it is below the saddle pad. Just so because somebody will say he's probably 14, three, maybe 14, two or three. He's 14, two, almost 14, three hands tall. So he's a, will you put this back in the tack room for me? Um, will you put the, just, re, yeah. Okay. Gail said, Tylen had a man look. That's exactly what that's called. That is what that's called. Will you guys do me a favor and water in here and then roll the hose up? Yep. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually going to get the thing from my truck. Okay. Then, no uh, worries. I just, just, yeah, no worries. I just want to hay water. Yes, this horse right here, you can put back on the walker. Okay. And then I would like to hay and water in here and then roll that hose up. Mm -hmm. That way we're not standing on it when we saddle horses. I, yeah. Got, um, Effort. Effort, yes. Um, it's in the black. There's a black Tupperware thing in there. In the tack room, in the second tack room, there's a big black Tupperware thing. When you pop it open, the Thermatex is in it. No, this horse is pretty, um, good. You know, somebody the other day had asked a couple questions about him, and I told him, like, this is just a really good little horse. He's just a, he's been trail ridden a lot, you can tell. He's one hand broke. Tylen will walk him straight out here and go over the, um, trail course with him. And somebody said that he looked like he maybe was a quarter horse Morgan cross and he might be, I don't know, regardless of what he is, he's a fantastic little horse and he's just as bomb proof and easy to be around as any horse on this place. So that is a great asset. And I had somebody the other day that kind of <laughs> said, I wish that you would do your videos like all the other horse sell people. And I said, yeah, but the problem with that is while there's not as much noise or distraction or things of that nature, you have to remember that um, nobody here hides anything. So you get to see them be saddled. You get to see everything. I could take little two-minute video clips of these horses and everything would look fantastic, perfect. But we like you guys to see it in real time where there's absolutely nothing being hidden. You get to see if they spook or if they have a weird reaction. He has zero calm, like zero care in the world. He's very calm. Tylen, will you lope a circle for me? But I want you guys to see that you can go from... You can go from walking into a lope... And he has no buck. So if you have a young kid. If you have a young kid, he will lope off without a care in the world. So he's definitely a horse that is not a deadhead. You can literally go from. You can literally go from walking to picking up a lope. This horse has not been ridden in a week. So he's a little fresh. He's been eating sweet feed. It's probably been a week minimum since he's been ridden. And I wanted y'all to see that if you were walking and you pick up a lope, he will lope off. 
and there's no buck there was my main thing. This is a horse that will absolutely lope off nice, soft in the face and in the back with, just stop him right there. And he does have a nice stop, you guys. He is one hand broke. And he is the perfect horse for somebody that's just looking for a nice kid broke, easy um, walk trot, you know, walk trot lope. His canter is nice. He doesn't have any, you know, he doesn't have any hump or buck, no rear up. He goes through the trail course. He'll cross water. He does know the barrels and the poles and he has been roped off of. And my biggest thing is, is I think that people need to see that a horse that's not been ridden in a week can you can step on him and lope off and he's soft in the back there's no hump but he is just a nice kids trail horse does know the play day events tylen do you, we took you through the barrels last time do you want to set the i'll set the first if you'll set the second and third or if you'll set the third i can probably get the second too i just don't want to walk all the way down there sorry um, we have transportation absolutely nationwide. I have transport leaving this afternoon for anybody interested going to California and Arizona. Um, they could go to New Mexico. So Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, California. Um, and as you can see, he's not a spooky horse. He is barefoot. He is barefoot. <clears throat> and he stands really good for you to get on and off of. This horse, um, we were going to consign him to the Guy Bynum sell in Atala. So basically, we're doing videos today for that auction. What I'm also going to tell you is it's like anything else. We're taking five horses. Which five? I don't care. If you have to have this horse, we have plenty of them here. So he is 11, turning 12 years old. 11 to 12, his teeth are, you know, the vet said he could be... 10 to 12 is basically just barely starting to groove down. So over 12, I mean over 10, but probably not over 12 is what we were told. Um, just based on mouthing him. And this horse, somebody said looks like maybe a quarter horse Morgan, maybe. Um, but just a nice horse. And again, Tylen got on him after being in a stall. He's gone on the walker, but he's not been being ridden at all. Um, he is on Omeline 200, which is a sweet feed, and this is what he acts like straight out of the stall. He stepped on him and loped him off. My main thing is I wanted you to see you can step on him and lope him off with no buck. So you don't have to worry that if he gets fresh that he's going to get froggy with your kids. He's wanting to pick up a short lope. He has the best little short lope in the world. And um, we'll let Tylen help step back so y'all can see him go through the barrels. Yep, he's going to just bring him through the barrels. This horse does know the barrel pattern. And so he's been something that somebody's probably played aid. As you can see, he's pretty automatic through the barrels right there. He's going to be really easy for a kid. And he will go whatever, if you want to walk the barrels, you can walk. Or if you want to lope the barrels, you can lope. And Tylen can 
go ahead. He really wants to pick up that little short lope and it's the smoothest little lope. So it's probably if he does have some Morgan in him, he's got this little short lope to him. That's just such a nice little lope. But if you've got a young kid that wants to go to the play days, you can see this horse wants to be really automatic and really soft in the face. And he's not hard for a kid to kind of pull around the barrels. So if you have a little young kid, maybe a five-year-old, six-year-old, they can absolutely do all of the speed events on him. And he's really good. He's not a hard horse to pull around the barrels. Now, what I like is once Tylan does that, will you just walk him on a loose rein through everything you can put your hand down and watch he's loped him through the barrels done something to get him hot and this horse will just walk right off on a loose rein no problem now what i like about him is while he might not be somebody's 1d candidate this is a horse that if you have a child and you're wanting them to ride english and western and you're wanting them to be safe and they can practice there at the house this is a really good horse will you lope him through one more time you can go just a touch faster. You can tell a kid has ridden him. There he goes. He switched to the correct lead. You can tell a kid has ridden him because he... Nice! You can just tell. Don't let your hat fall off! Tylan's only got one hand on the reins and our ground is a little tough out here. But he's going to be perfect, you guys, if you are nice stop, too. Good boy. But all right, you guys, this is two-step, and he is fantastic. And he does pick up the right lead. He picked it up when Tylan sped him up right there. I just think a kid's ridden him and has not made him pick up the correct leads, and that's just very typical. That's no problem, and it's something that your kid can get home and maybe take some lessons and work on. So this is two-step. Hang on right there, Tylan. I'm going to... Oh, he is super broke. He didn't hear me. Hang on. Let me see his teeth. That way they can see how old he is. The vet said older than 10, younger than 12. So, and he does have what they call an 11 year old hook. Oh, come here, two step. Let's show them your teethies so that they can see. <laughs> Hang on. He does have the 11 year old hook on the back of that. So this is a super, super nice 11 year old. I feel very comfortable calling him 11 because of the, they get that hook at seven and it's gone by nine. And then they get it again at the end of their 10 mid 11 year old year. So a little hook off the back. Um, but so the vet was right. He's probably 10, but no older than 12. So appears to be sound. He's barefoot. Um, he does know the barrels. He does know the poles. He has been roped off of. He is one hand broke. And again, once you go through the barrels, then you can drop your reins and walk him off. All right, you guys, this is two step and he is available. And if he is not, um, if he's not, you know, found a home today, he is going to the guy Bynum cell in Atala, Alabama.